imagine a world without smiles. If you look at the facts of oral health, it's not hard to do. 750,000 children in California's elementary schools live with untreated tooth decay. Nationally, because of dental visits and illness, children lose 50 million hours of school a year. Adults lose 160 million hours of work. And the vast majority of California's senior facility residents need oral health care. The sad truth is, income in California determines oral health. California, one of America's most desirable places to live. The world's eighth largest economy. Yet the number of California families who are barely able to make ends meet keeps growing. And resources for preventive and restorative oral health care keep dwindling. One in three Californians don't have access to adequate dental care. And that's what really spurred the CDA, the California Dental Association, to create the CDA Foundation. It was their collective effort to help provide avenues for resolving that access to care crisis. In 2001, the CDA Foundation was born. The CDA Foundation was a missing piece that we really needed to bring our association together full circle. It opens up an entire area uh, to allow us to accomplish so many things uh, that in our other uh, aspects of our association we couldn't, we couldn't accomplish, we couldn't hope to accomplish. The effort began with a goal to deliver fluoridated water to 75% of Californians by the year 2010. Already, funding for fluoridation from the CDA Foundation has impacted more than 26 million Californians. Grants are in place to fund education and restorative treatment and other grants and scholarships are providing equipment for California dentists practicing in underserved areas. With a mission to improve the oral health of all Californians by supporting the dental profession and its efforts to meet community needs, the CDA Foundation is focusing on three initiatives. The Student Loan Repayment Program provides community service grants for new dentists to serve in underserved communities. It's a grant program that relieves a portion of the dental school debt in exchange for three years of practice in a community clinic. I'm an immigrant from Mexico. I came here when I was three years old. And for me to have accomplished this, it's like something that's impossible. Thanks to them, I've been able to accomplish dental school plus more. And who knows what else I may be able to accomplish thanks to all the confidence that, that the CDA Foundation has given me. The CDA Foundation grant program offers individual grants up to $25,000 to community organizations expanding access to oral health care. It's a challenge to continue to uh, raise the funds necessary to make sure that our clinic is fully equipped. Our volunteers, we want to make sure that when they visit our clinic, that they leave with a feeling of really having made a difference, that they were able to do uh, quality dentistry, and that's very important to us. Direct programs for the underserved expand access to care, like the Pediatric Oral Health Access Program, the Geriatric Oral Health Access Program, and other fluoridation initiatives. Today, California is seeing more smiles up and down the state as California's dental community grows as a philanthropic force. Sometimes people will hide their teeth, they won't smile. I've had many situations like that where we've improved uh, a negative situation and suddenly someone whom everyone thought was a very sort of dour person is walking around smiling all the time. With a good smile I was able to get myself a good job. You have the disenfranchised, you have the people that have given up hope, and places like this are what give it back. In communities large and small, dentists are volunteering at clinics. 
they're offering pro bono services and contributing money to support foundation initiatives. I mean, it's just, it's just something that just to me just really connected all the dots. I'm like, you know what, this is what you're meant to do because not everybody cares about these patients and not everybody wants to help them. One of the things about American life that I have come to value above anything else is the way we care for one another and the way we are willing to volunteer our time. And it's no different for dentists. Yet there are new challenges. Volunteer leaders now have a passion to build awareness among the public and the dental community for the work of the foundation. It's work that needs to be seen as both grant making and grant seeking. Increased awareness will help bolster the drive to help the underserved. It will help identify new programs that can increase access to oral health care for the most vulnerable. It will attract more volunteer leaders and it will help build the growing philanthropic spirit and rally a greater generosity of time, talent and resources necessary to move the mission forward. If you're a dentist and want to be part of the solution, one thing you can do is support the CDA Foundation. Many hands make light work. And I think that's what the CDA Foundation can do. By getting lots of people involved, a lot can be accomplished. Today, the work of the CDA Foundation represents a belief that working with and through the local dental societies is the best path to increase dental care access for children, the elderly, and working families. So the CDA Foundation um, is a way to fold all of the service activities that we do for our patients, for the state, for our extended communities, for our students, into one more visible entity. And I hope that makes it easier for members to support it. Grants will be essential. Funding from corporations, critical. But it's the support of individual donors that will ultimately achieve the goal for all Californians. They're taking people that have given up instead of giving them a hand out, they're giving them a hand up. We are making a difference.